What is capillary action? By Morgan Faust and Lindsay Ryan. Capillary action is a principle which explains why fluids are often drawn up into other substances. It is also known as capillarity. Several factors are involved in capillary action. The first is cohesion, which is the tendency of molecules of a substance to stick together. One example of cohesion during capillarity is when you dip a paper towel into a puddle of water. The water is quickly drawn up into the paper towel. This is because water has a high surface tension because of its high level of cohesion. The second factor is adhesion, which is the tendency of some substances to be drawn to unlike substances. An example of this is a tree sucking up water in the ground by its cellulose fibers that form small capillaries known as xylem. As the fluid gets drawn up, it forms a meniscus along the edges of the xylem. The surface tension in the water causes the water to climb up as the meniscus forms. When a meniscus is concave, the fluid is said to be wetting the substance it is drawn to, creating capillary action. When the meniscus is convex, the liquid is not wetting the surface because the liquid's cohesion is stronger than the adhesive forces, which also promote capillarity. So what doesn't promote capillarity? First, the denser a liquid is, the less likely it is to demonstrate capillarity. Second, eventually capillary action will reach a balance point in which the forces of adhesion and cohesion are equal, and the weight of the liquid holds it in place. If a liquid has a high level of cohesion, capillary action is less common. This is because the individual molecules in the fluid are drawn more tightly to each other than they are to an opposing surface. And that's capillary action. Thanks for watching!